lots of good cooks and lots of good food and wonderful recipes too but for a meal that makes folks smile there's one thing you must do cook it with love cook it with love cook it with love love is a great ingredient the best that we can find the simplest meal that's cooked with love will nourish humankind cook it with love cook it with love cook it with love hello and welcome to another edition of cooking with tasha and this time it's cooking with tasha and my friend kitty who is going to make you a marvelous Chinese dish that we had at her house and we like it so much that I said, oh, I wish you could come and make that on my show. And she said she would. <clears throat> and you. she's also going to talk a little bit about her own cooking and Chinese cooking and things of that nature for us today. And hopefully come back again and talk more. So this is Kitty Raymond. Hi. Thank you for having me, Tasha. And I'm glad to have the chance to make some dumplings in front of our audience. And basically, I brought some of the ingredients, mm -hmm. and I would like to show you how to make the fold and how to boil. The one we make today is the boiling one instead of putting in a pan to fry. So I think it's much healthier first, and also it's easier. The, uh, when, when you were talking earlier, <coughs> you said where you grew up. Oh, I grew up in Beijing, China. And when I grew up, that's the very basic first dish I learned from my grandparents. While I was young, pork was the main meat ingredient in many of the cooking dishes. Mm. So basically, I just used pork. You know, and, uh, you can use almost anything. I mean, you yes. can use ground chicken, you could use ground beef, yep. or um, turkey, or even vegetables. You yes. know, you could you could make a filling with vegetables. It it isn't doesn't really matter what you fill it with. But but pork, I was thinking about why pork, you know, and I thought, well, a pig is something everybody can raise themselves. It doesn't require any special knowledge. Um, and if you even have a small garden plot, you know, you, your pig will enrich your garden plot and you'll enrich your pig with your, all your vegetable peelings and everything else. So they're an ideal, like, uh, ecological animal. <laughs> they're very intelligent, too. And they're very intelligent, besides. They make them, many people have them for pets. Those pot-bellied pigs, I've heard. We should have, have a farm before pets. we think of a pet. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, um, that is as it is, and we enjoy whatever it is we enjoy, right? Thank you. Thank you for having me. And should I just start with the ingredients? Well, why don't you talk about the ingredients? Sure. Yeah. Today, I brought in some ground pork. In the supermarket, you can buy just a package, about, about a pound. Sometimes you can use actually pork or beef or even ground turkey. And for me today, we're going to use ground pork. And also, I brought in the ginger root. When you buy from the Purdue session, it looks like this. But for me, usually, I can finish it in one dish. I just put in the uh, freezer. So when you use next time, defrost it just in room temperature like a few minutes before you start the dish. And then I use the grater so you can grate it so easily and easy to store and then keep fresh. So you keep it in the freezer? Yes. And it keeps well that way? Yes. It if you put in, it badly. If you put in the refrigerator mm -hmm. after a week oh, or so, yeah, they, oh no. yeah, no, it's I and I've never, 
I've always heard that, you know, you're not supposed to refrigerate it, so I would keep it, but then it withers up. Yes, <laughs> so that's why I put it, like here, mm -hmm. I bought more than a week ago. Yeah. So I used for the last time, and then uh -huh. mm -hmm. just, you just saw in that's the room, great. Temp in the room yeah. temperature for Wonderful. like yeah. five minutes before you use mm -hmm. it for the dish. Sure. And today, we're going to put some scallions, the green onions. This, you can just buy a bunch from the market and you can, if you like the flavor, you can put more. But today, for one pound of pork, I think one bunch of scallions will be just right. And sometimes people would put napa or any type of vegetables. And some people may even like garlic chives or um, dill. Well, you can put any type of vegetables that can chopped up, but do not maintain a lot of water. So they have a certain consistency. Okay, so, so the main thing is yeah, you probably you wouldn't want to use peppers or mushrooms. Uh, not too much. Because no. for pepper, pepper is okay, but not the main ingredients. Mm -hmm. For mushroom, you can chop up, but sometimes if They're it, it gets watery, yeah. you have to probably squeeze the extra yeah. water off. Mm -hmm. or, or, you, or you could, maybe you could cook them first um, and then put them in. Do, do you ever use cooked fillings? Or yes, or yes, you can stir fry like mm -hmm. uh, mushrooms mm -hmm. or peppers. Mm -hmm. I never try peppers, honestly. So I feel probably it's easier to mm -hmm. stir fry, mm -hmm. to cook it, mm -hmm. and then we can mix it. Yeah. So shall we start? Yes, but this time we're using raw ingredients, which is fine because we're going to be boiling it anyway, so it's going to, going to cook them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sure. So for, this is uh, the vegetable session. I have just salt and soy sauce. And sometimes people like to use a sesame oil. But today I didn't bring the sesame oil because sometimes people may have the nut allergy. Uh -huh. Or I do have some, a few friends who, uh, who is allergic. Mm, I or love sesame oil. I think it's great stuff. But I hear what yeah. you're saying. You know, one doesn't have to be, one does yeah. have to be careful about it. Thank you. While mm -hmm. we are preparing the ingredients, probably we can start boiling the water. So I have the little pot. Probably can fill two-thirds of a whole pot. And then we can just plug it in. It is. I it's on, it on now. Yep. That's great. I turn it on. So while we were just you can doing, see, I mean, it, it, it heats up quite qu quickly. See, already the little bubbles are forming. So. Yes. So today we're just going to. First, I'm going to probably cut the onions, the, the green onions, into smaller pieces, so it's blend easily and nicely also. Sometimes if you feel the pieces are too big, you can cut further, chop, chop them up later. Or you can slice them first and make it easier and smaller. So I'm just cutting up the green onions or scallions. 